gates with some Winston-based 3-3 three, three composition. So three tanks and three supports for both of these teams as we do see mirror All right. heroes. So what's going to happen here? Get ready for the clown fiesta. Mm, Swan going a bit aggro, but neither team's really committing. Is this going to be a really... I'm hoping this is a clown fiesta. If this is a really boring game where both teams just look at each other the whole time and nobody dies, I'm going to be so annoyed. Oh my god, nobody's died so far. Nobody's died. They're having opportunities to punish the other team and they're just not doing it. Janice is so passive. They wait for the grav. Absolutely zero need for that grav. If Janice had just decided to go in, if Janice had just picked up his testicles and gone inside, not inside, but gone aggressive, they would have definitely found kills there. But instead, both teams are scared. But that, that makes sense. I mean, of course both teams are scared. They they make tons of mistakes all the time, so they're just trying to minimize mistakes. Primal gets nothing done, gets discorded and just focused. He's in the back, but he didn't dive onto Hagio. He dived onto McGravy? That's a very strange decision from Giannis. He definitely could have done way more with that Primal. Grav into Sansan. Trance is there, but Graf Bomb. Florida are normally pretty decent with their rolls. Drox Games, thanks for the Twitch Prime. Oh my god, I missed a butt ton of stuff. Badaje, 31 minutes ago, 1991, thanks for the Twitch Prime. Who should Paris pick up to play their Zarya since Sooner Shadowburn are both enormous bots? Uh, they should not pick up anybody. They should wait and see what the Stage 2 meta is like. Because they don't have to play anymore in this patch. Well, actually, that's assuming that the Stage 2 has a different patch. I have literally no idea. But it seems likely, doesn't it? Literally not leagues. I have no idea. Grav bomb. Nice a projected barrier from BQB. Keeps Swan alive. So now he's able to use his primal. Counter sound barrier, but they're not really in position to attack anybody. So literally useless from Chris, but all right. Grav comes in. They don't have their support. Guido's on 90%, so they lose. This is so weird. Both teams, so bad, at getting value out of their support ults. Like, unless they're using them reactively, both teams are so slow, so scared. They can't play aggro with their support ults. Like, you saw Florida there with a, like, literally a 10 second better sound barrier, and they just didn't do anything with it. Literally nothing. They might as well have not used it. Gravy uses his bomb just to be back. But they have nothing to force it out into the into the, the area. Trances used for both teams. Slightly better trance, but they can't get a bash. Because Addo just decides not to bash Swan. I don't think the Discord orb is even on Swan. Swan's just in the back lines. And nobody's looking at him. Swan could have died seven years ago. But okay, they trade Zens, and they trade instead. Ado gets booped off. Oh my lord. Oh, Florida win. This isn't even a clown fiesta in terms of like, I don't know. You know, it's not... It's not mental, it's just both teams are just not playing well. Like, players are mad out of position, really weak, and nobody looks at them. They're just tunnel-brained onto their own stuff. A clown siesta. Yeah, this is a clown siesta at the moment. It's just kind of just kind of boring when teams don't capitalize on opportunities. I think when, when people think of GOATs being boring, they think of this. Yeah, absolutely. Looks like we are going to see the Reinhardt 
Because when you watch lower level teams and when you watch like ranked and stuff, or when you play yourself, like it can feel like you have no opportunity to punish your opponent's mistakes, but it's actually pretty punishing meta. You just have to be good. Alright. Well, they tried to cut uh, Justice in half there, but nobody peeled for Swan. This one goes aggressive. And they, they punish and kill him. Okay. It's very slow between these two teams as well. Just be good forehead. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not saying they can play better. I'm just saying better teams are better at punishing. Or you're getting attacked by a swan. It's a very swan. real danger. Very real danger. Oh, there's some real danger for this one on Florida sometimes, but yeah. usually, Not that time. if you just throw him some breadcrumbs. Bubbles traded. Corey uses personal as well and doesn't get anything for it. Sansam's oh, weak because he went that's too far in. Suit, that's be Rally used from Justice to try and sustain because they were anticipating the aggression. Janice throws in a shatter, but it's just, uh, I mean. There was no real indication of why he should use it. The trance was late from Hago, but they weren't able. Their focus fire wasn't good enough to punish. BQB is weak, and the whole, what is this? I mean, everyone is everywhere. And then Swan comes in from behind. Where the fuck was Swan? Just coming off the spawn. I mean, I don't even know what I'm watching. That was very strange. Uh, Yanis got booped around all over the place. No, he didn't get booped, did he? Yanis went for some, like, fucking YOLO pin. But then Florida tried to peel for BQB instead of punishing. And then Florida kept a bunch of players on the point instead of regrouping with the people that were actually, like, with BQB. And so Florida were more split up than Justice were, despite the fact that Yanis went on a pin to Narnia. Aye, aye, aye. Oops. Just dropped a load of cheese on the floor. Really Who the fuck did that bubble go on from BQB? They focused on Addo. Trying to uh, trying to block the bomb. The bomb from McGravy. Got blocked. BQB gets shattered, but I don't think there's any opportunity to punish. Santam is literally like right in the middle of them, but okay, they just focused on Yanis instead. They got a boop on him. Both Yanis and Sam Sam out of position, but obviously better there to go for Yanis, so fair enough. Alright, but 99% for Washington when they managed to get the flip. So. McGravy ate the grab, yeah. I think that was a very um, optimistic grab as well, though, from Corey. I don't think it would have turned the fight at all. All right, so Washington, to get back into this, uh, they have double support ults if they manage to go aggressive and uh, force something out this time. Yanis just goes for a rando pin. That one's for you, Peak. Peak always talks about how Yanis just goes for these random pins. I mean, what was he going for there? Just, just decided to slap his forehead on the shift key for no good reason. And obviously Swan just shatters them. And in a situation where Justice are trying to build up ults and force them out of Florida, they just lost to one of the Shire. So, uh, that's what we call not good. <laughs> forehead. Absolutely. Corey getting pretty close to his Graviton Surge. That's going to be key for Washington to do this. They only need to really win one fight to take the point again. And a lot of spam on Corey and Addo. But okay, they're taking position. Are they going to invest? I mean, they have to invest their ults. They've taken so long. They've had two fights in s a minute and 20 seconds. This is only their second fight since they lost at 99%. Caught in the Grav. Trance is used, grab bomb combo, but they, the counter grab comes out. Nice shatter though from Swan actually. Yanis didn't anticipate it, and now he's been discarded, and they overwhelm him. So better play from Florida there. Ooh, but a nice bash actually from Ado. 
Swan tried to get out. I mean, I don't know how Hago died. Hago should definitely have been in a better position, but uh, Swan thought that he was safe, and Ado came and bashed him. I think uh, a bubble was required, or some bodyguarding from Apply. But instead, Justice are going to clutch based off that bash, I think. Especially since Florida have had to switch over to Sombra Tracer, I don't see really any way that they're going to be able to win. Fair enough. Florida did pay the, play all of the beginning of that fight better. It's literally just that self-destruct. And the bash from Otto. Did anyone else in L try to get Sado or just Philly? I think it was just Philly. Clearly a very clutch play on a desperation self-destruct and the Washington Justice. Why do you think Shanghai had such a huge fan base in season one, but nobody seems to like Justice? Uh, I think it's partly the drama that happened in the off-season with them allegedly fucking over, like, certain players and coaches, like Harsha and stuff. Uh, it's partly the fact that it's a Western team, I think, uh, because... It's easier for Western audiences to realize that Justice just picked up, like, bad players. Rather than... Like, the thing with Shanghai was that they kind of got fucked over by what people perceived to be corrupt management or whatever. Or, like, poor management decisions. And so they felt bad for the players. And then when the Korean players came in, they had, like, communication issues. But they were genuinely trying the best. And we knew they had potential. I think it's a different situation. There are a bunch of mitigating circumstances with Shanghai. But also, like, if you actually remember, at the beginning of the season, nobody really liked Shanghai. Shanghai got really popular when they added the Korean players in, like... I think that was middle of stage two or something. They added, like, Gagari, Addo, Fearless, these people. And even though they were losing, there was a lot of hype around them as being, like... You know, like, uh... These players were going to try and save it, but they were working against adversity and they were trying to turn it around. I don't know, there was a lot of positive press. I did a video about it, actually, if you want to check out my YouTube channel. Nice block from Swan. But I mean... A bit late with the pin, but they managed to find Giannis and Addo anyway. What happens if both Dallas and Houston end up on 4-3 and 0 map differential? If there's a tie for which teams are getting into playoffs, I believe they play a tiebreaker match today. Uh, but I'm not totally sure. It did look like a very optimistic shatter from Giannis. It seems like Giannis just randomly presses his Q and his shift buttons. Sometimes it really works out for him. He gets, like, kind of ridiculous shatters, but... Ooh, my goodness. That was a fucking ambitious one from Swan as well. Swan gets pinned. Nice bubbles from BQB though. Saves his bubbles. Or actually, I mean, didn't really save his bubbles, but just didn't have to use them, you know, at any time because Justice jumped so aggressively on them at the beginning. But they should be able to turn this anyway. And a D-Mag McCree. Okay, no, they're going to invest Sandbarry into this. Uh, are they just going to rally back in? This is nice. Mm, they don't need that beat. That beat is wasted from Fazix. Especially because they were caught on a corner, so the barrier didn't even catch, like, Giannis. But it was a nice decision for them to re-engage with the rally rather than re-engaging with the sound barrier, because with, uh, with whoever was down, I think Swan was down or something, you don't really need to use the sound barrier. It's Brent from Los Angeles. Mean reinforce used to give you a hard time. <laughs> Remember the owl job you had? Yeah, we replaced you with an actual goat. I make over 20k a year and I'm ripped. Fuck, fucking hell. Did I shit talk Philly at all? No, I actually talked about how, how uh, Philly are a decent team. I really like your guys' defense on Rialto Point A, Elk. I think the Winston Goat's defense on Rialto Point A is really fucking good. It's uh, one of the more fun things to watch. Wanna shit talk Washington with me right now? Yes, absolutely. Get in my Discord. Get in my Discord, Sunny Jim. And by get in my Discord, what I mean is... I will ring you. 
final fight of this round, of this map here on Nepal, relies on Corey's Graviton Surge. Oh, that's a late stagger, too. Yeah, that's going to be even more time that Washington needs to wait before they can attack with full strength. Sansa responding just now. But look at that, 90% plus for Florida. We need Super? Where is Super? Is he actually here? I don't think, I don't think Super's around at the moment. If Super comes into my chat at some point and says that he wants to go in, uh, we can. Oh, it's on Western Europe. Let's put it on US East. Yo, can you hear me now? Yo, yeah, I can. I changed the region. I think that might have been it. Yeah. What's up? Not too much. Just Genuine hour player Elk. Yeah, just got done watching my team slap around some fellow Europeans. Yeah, fellow Europeans. Said as, said as a classic Euro. Yeah, totally not an American player at all. <laughs> in uh, in one month after we uh, execute Article 50 and leave Europe, uh, neither of us will be Europeans. Actually, I don't know. I haven't really been following. There's been a bunch of, uh, uh, of votes in, in Parliament recently. I think somebody... Um, some motion in the British Parliament indicated that they were going to try and extend, but I think it has to be agreement with EU as well. Uh, I'm actually pretty informed on the issue, and I can link you some cool, well put together informational videos on it if you'd like. Sure. I mean, I'm not going to read them on stream, but I can read them yeah, later. Yeah, no. I've been I've been watching the news occasionally, but I've been busy packing to uh, to leave. I, I know that they passed a motion to delay, but I think it also has to be agreed on by Europe. So I'm not actually sure that that's uh, legally binding in any sense. Washington winning map one is Pog Champ. Yeah, I, or they should be winning map one. Yeah, they should be win winning map one. I missed the first two uh, cock points. How did they go? Uh, okay. What was the first one? The first one was Sanctum. Uh, both teams running Winston Goats and were just mad scared of each other. I think the first death happened about 50 seconds in. And, like, neither Winston wanted to engage. They're both just kind of dancing around each other. Eventually, it required a grab, I think, from Corey to be able to get the win. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Ready to judge some 0 and 5 or 0 and 6 and 1 and 5 teams? Is it the 0 and 7 dream? We are 7 dream. No, I think, I think Justice are going to win this match. I think so. Why do you yeah, think Justice I mean, are going to win? Because I think Justice are, like, opposite fusion. Where, like, the worse their opponent, the better they play. Do you think Justice knows how to play against Sombra? That's a good point. I think Justice only know how to play Ryan Goats v. Ryan Goats. Yeah, but I'm, if Guido dies, it won't matter. I'm concerned as well that uh, Florida will play just like that May Sombra stuff as well, and Justice won't have a clue how to play against it. And so we'll really struggle. No, but you get what I mean, though, when I say, like, Justice play, like, opposite Fusion? Like, they play more confident the worst team they're against, whereas for some reason Fusion managed to play to the level of every team they play. Mm. It's hard to tell that with Justice, though. Like, how do you even have a good read on that? Because their opponents have all been actually fairly decent. They haven't played against anyone bad so far, have they? Cause well, it's it mostly because Justice is, like, their fundamental Overwatch doesn't look terrible, and they're usually close games. So I'm assuming that against a worse opponent, they're gonna still play this yeah same. yeah they definitely look consistent they look consistently poor or like consistently very mediocre but they do look consistent they don't feed which is something i really like about justice because it's easy with shit teams to just like mad feed oh my god the emp <laughs> the How emp dude <laughs> that bad <laughs> Oh my might word. still win the fight though. Just run away from the EMP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, why did... Oh, Super was complaining about EMP being uncounterable yesterday. I bet you never thought you could just run away from it. <laughs> oh, genius! Washington and Justice are setting the meta. Okay, that grab from Corey was pretty scuffed. Yeah. The grabs overall, this, at least from Washington, have been very questionable. If Washington had just saved their grab there as well, they have the chance to be able to push back in with next time. And they know that the the EMP was down. If, if they didn't grab, they 100% win this next fight. I feel like yeah. this next fight is going to be really rough. Like, I don't know how they force a fight quick enough to stop BQB from getting EMP this fight. Yeah, I don't, I don't know whether you can, can you? Well, no, because right. like you're, you're also forcing it into Shatter and Beat, which is like super awkward. They're, they're also very slow. It's, it's an unfortunate... Um, meta to have bad teams in because they are just plodding around the map like brontosauruses <laughs> like one of the interesting things about the somber comp is the best way to counter it is to kind of pin into the enemy ryan 
Because if they counter pin, they have no D.Va to Matrix your Zen and you just kill their Ryan. So they like have to tank the pin. Huh. So it's like guaranteed engages. Well, but Hollywood Janus first loves points. to do that. Yeah, that was, you, a, was a pretty you also kind of just have to jam in ults against Sombra and just keep going. Yeah. Just keep, not not stack your ult, but like throw your ult one after another. And he, try he and not... 4v6? Yeah. Uh, they might be able to turn oh. this though. But if they don't, they're going to oh, be second. Oh, Oh boy. Ah! Well, they see nine, but they also use the sound barrier. <laughs> okay, well, very strange. I think that trade is still good for justice. Like, both support ults and EMP for beat seems amazing. Seems like the ideal trade. Obviously, Fazix probably didn't need to be there, but. Oh yeah, I think the the C9 is kind of unpredictable though, right? <laughs> like, Fazix, yeah, yeah. I think, was just trying to save him because save the rest of his team because he thought they I were mean, actually going to have to take a fight. All Justice has to do now is just grab like one or two persons and just kill that guy. Yeah. But have to combo. I know they're going to combo. They they work on a flow chart system. They always use. Okay, they just got grab first. <laughs> they just lost them. So, it's lost the fight. This is like the worst thing you can do against Somber Goats because they don't have D.Va. Like, literally just speed, press Q, win fight. Yeah, yeah. Repeat until the end of the map. Yeah, uh, this is my, my concern as well. Justice is so slow that I think they, if they're playing against Sombra or Sombra May, they just don't have the speed or the decisiveness to be able to make those decisions fast enough or like recognize opportunities and push off them. Oh, okay. To be honest, like shot calling in this comp, you're supposed to have a smaller brain than Ryan Goats v Ryan Goats because like it's really just go fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why Boston like it. <laughs> Oh, I thought that was going to land on the top. I thought uh, Sansam had beefed that. Okay, EMP catches three. Yanis is one of them. But the this fight was actually there. so close to being Florida's. The fact that Zen died when the EMP went off meant that Guido's trance actually got to Janus in time. Janus dies like 100% there if uh, Hagopian stays alive that fight. All right, they're going to have grab for the next one. And no support ults available for justice. So Florida's still yeah, got a great opportunity at being able to stabilize. I just need to catch one person and just kill the person in the grab. Alright, so what are Justice going to do? Hold super close, see if they can get value out of Janice's Shatter? Maybe save the bubbles at the very least? Okay, bubbles were saved, but Ado also got caught. A lot of damage onto Zephyr. I would have liked to see Justice hold choke and like make the Ryan push past your Ryan to contest cart. Mm. By, by holding that far back, like you let him stay alive with shield, contest cart, and split you in grab. I don't know. BKB at 72%. These ults are coming up though. Guido and Fazix are both close. Oh, this is a nice EMP, EMP. though. Oh, nice defense. It's a really EMP. nice EMP. And Justice invested Grav. Yeah. It's not bad though, right? Like they have beat, they have double support ult coming back and shattered. They can just like use a support ult, engage on Ryan, force trance, use the second support ult, find shatter and kill Ryan. It's pretty difficult though. I think. Uh, for them to be able to get in position to execute that plan, BQB is just going to still farm them. Because the other problem with these teams when they're dealing with Sombra as well is they don't put enough pressure on on the Sombra and force them to translocate, so they're literally just farming all the entire time. Like, BQB, I think, is going to be able to get, like, 60% before they're even in position. Where is he at the moment? Okay, up top, gets a hack on Fazix. That's weird. The, uh, the zoom in there splits the status effect. Weird UI thing. Okay, he's only at 50%. No, 40%. Sambara used. They just disengaged the whole thing. They don't really go to the aggro. A lot of poke into Giannis and Ado. The rally is used. Both teams have trance and the BQBs are 80%. Apply I guys? Like, yeah. I mean, not to, be, to not, not, not to be mad, but they really choose to the trust their lip. Oh, LK, yeah, I think you're lagging. Am I lagging? I heard you lagging. Yeah, oh, I'm lagging. I heard everyone lagging, so I think uh, I think the call just went weird there for a moment. Solid unlucky. So they don't manage to get the EMP up in time. I think it's still fine for them. Like they should be able to hold this on third. One fight with Grav. One fight Would with you Grav. rather Grav or EMP here? I think, I think I'd always rather grab. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they don't have trance, so the grab should be free. I mean, that was the worst grab I've seen of the series. <laughs> oh, yeah. Still got a kill. Which is I mean, nice. I've seen worse grabs, but at least they got the kill. 
Yeah, there's definitely been. Uh, in fact, there have been worse grabs in this series. I think you just I mean, yeah, spoiled them at the beginning. The yeah, that's what I meant. On yeah. Nepal. <laughs> yeah, on Nepal, there were some horrible ones. I literally miss everybody. Like, if you're going to solo grab Orion against Goats, they have to, like, be low on some cooldown. If they have, like, Bubble, Briggy, Amp, there's, yeah, like, they no can way just keep, them, keep them alive forever. I mean, it was good, though. Like, winning the fight with Grav is huge. Now, assuming they don't mess up the EMP. <sighs> Why okay. are the EMP so far away? I mean, oh, they no, got they Zarya. Be able to get the Zarya. Okay. Did the, I don't, did I don't think they bash, those, but... Did Dado bash Sombra before or after the... I do not remember. I didn't. I didn't even spot either there. It, it, yeah. If he bashed before EMP, that was really. I mean, that was fine then. But after, it would have been really risky for the BQP. <laughs> Swan just waddled out into everybody. He didn't try and hide and shatter from a hiding place or anything. He waddled out for four seconds and got spotted, and then decided to shatter. What an odd Wait. situation to be in. That's a fight if you just don't flank. Like, you, you win the fight if you just play on part with your team. Yeah. And they didn't force anything out of Justice there as well. Apart from, I mean, the grab gets used right, but the support ults are really important because Florida want those out at the very least to be able to win a fight with the MP or, uh, or grab. I mean, they should still hold this. Like, they have grab and they have EMP coming up. Mayhem stacked heal ults though. No, they didn't. They didn't have trance available there. Oh, they didn't. No, oh. no, they didn't even have trance. They had. They used it in the grab the previous fight. Uh, EMP gets used. Oh, yeah, they must be blind. Uh, Corey is. Actually oh my goodness! On. Kill Corey. Okay, there we go. Zeph is still alive. I think. Still I mean, that's right. reasonable. I think for for how poorly first point went for Justice, that's like not actually that bad. Yeah. Again, against Somber Goats, it's really unlikely you complete a map like on an overtime push. Normally, you either get like held the end of second or end of third, or you complete with like three minutes up because you snowball them. <laughs> but the, the comp is just like so good at stabilizing because EP and grab are like such powerful ults. Yeah, and you can just EMP shatter too. Very powerful. Yeah. Also, I think it's a lot more easier to work with EMP than try to get like combos off with the events. Give my boy Addo a win, please. I don't know, dude. I don't think today's the day. But you really don't think they're gonna beat Mayhem? I think Mayhem are favored in this. I, I think I had Mayhem at like I don't know, was it fifty-five or sixty or something? Like I think, yeah. I think, I think Mayhem have more tools to be able to work with, and uh, the the Sombra stuff, the Sombra May, I think Mayhem probably make more mistakes, but they also play a bit more aggro as well, so they can uh, force more errors out of Justice. I don't know. I, I I would expect Mayhem to come out with this, but I think it's going to be a close game. Yeah, I mean Justice Stage One, I think looked regardless of like meta or anything oh, but yeah, it's I think just it will be interesting just schedule yeah well also like new team put together of a lot of rook players with yeah like they clearly need time to like get synergy and get used to the environment and everything but I do think like their coaching roster does look stacked right like you do expect them to have improvement I mean overall it's their full sets. their coaching roster is certainly full of people <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I... It's not always a good thing, but who knows? It's yeah. really hard to know yeah. what anyone it, I does. I think it all just comes down to how well Wizard works as a head coach, though, because, like, I think the way that Wizard uses uh, assistant coaches is going to be a huge deal for this team. If Wizard is just, like, a tyrant dictator, as I fear he might be, and just uses his assistant coaches as, like, you know, um, scouting tools for, like, other teams and, like extensions of his own brain i think the team could really suffer because then you're not using the expertise of the people that you've actually hired yeah another thing too is like to be honest in, in every overwatch meta generally the players understand more about the game than the coaches and like the best coaches facilitate their players more so than like drive the innovation in the team 
actually trying to find that invisible zone. Stomper goats on attack here, I feel like it's a lot harder to farm EMP. They just need to force them. Oh, they just dropped down. Never mind. <laughs> Why did they drop down? <laughs> I don't know. What, what they are they trying to, to do? Trying program. to punish them in security? They right. force them down. Next level. Like if I'm Washington, I want to be pinning right here, Janice. I want to speed pin bubble. Also, where's B could be? Oh, flanking cafe. Yeah, BQB went cafe to try and build up some ult. So. He's at sixty percent though. Yeah. And everybody else isn't really gaining any ult at all because they're not really trading any aggression, right? They're just they're just holding shield and backing up. This is more on Washington than it, it is on Mayhem because Mayhem isn't trying to make a move when no. the Swampers farm. Yeah, ult. they're just waiting for the they, EMP. Yeah. Which I, th which is why I think Washington is playing very bad against the Sombra. He's just letting her and farm it. Yeah, Yannis gets kit. Yannis gets caught. Yeah. Despite them winning this fight, that EMP was still scuffed. Like he only hit three tanks and Guido was five percent off trance. If Guido had trance that fight, like. Well, why is he committing it now? Oh my goodness, the trance comes out and it's even too late to save San Sam. And they don't even have the ults to be able to really recontest. Oh they're my still god, they're commit? recommitting? My goodness. They, won. I mean, they might win it at this point. Yeah. But I don't why? think Hakupin was what? there yet. What? Where was Hug? No, Hagopin died. He died. Oh, he died. He died. That's why they committed the trance. I didn't even realize. I was like, surely Hago's gonna trance this, and I'm looking at the top of my UI like, why is Hago not trancing this? Okay. They have EMP for the next fight. No, this should not, be a free win for it. yeah. For, I mean, and then they have three support ults to work with after. I don't think there's a, a way they can lose this fight if they EMP the Rhine and he dies. Why is he? We could be. Looks like he's trying to EMP Guido. Okay, but Apparently he does actually he is fight. trying to EMP yeah. Guido. He gets four people. He still managed to find Yanis as well, but I mean the target prioritization there on the EMP is very odd that he's oh, like so determined. Why are these salts going on? The beat and the default. That's so weird. They beat it when they were up two people, I think. Yeah. No, they were only up one. Oh, they were only up one. Hadn't they killed yeah, they... Guido and Yannis? Oh, they killed Guido. Yeah, no, they, they lost oh, yeah. one now. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Who, but some, somebody died. Corey got somebody pre-fight. I don't know. Like, if you wait that long for EMP and you call your team to engage, it's just not going to work out well. Like, who cares if the Zen is hiding? You just saw him trance. Yeah, you know he doesn't have trance sentence anyway. Just go and, aggro. Like, even in this matchup, that you can solo EMP Ryan with Discord, and he will die if they can't bubble him. Yeah, you just need to think about the win condition and not getting the biggest play possible. And this is a, this is a good fight for me. Yeah, nice, decisive, aggressive. How is, justice, how is like Guido it. solo dying to BQB? Mm. Like, who is not playing Guido? I guess they were like fully committing on the grab there, but it's so awkward that they can't hold close. Like, ideally, now you hold close, you force EMP, and then you can retake with double support ult versus grab, and you like 100% win the retake fight. Yeah, now they have to back all the way up. Yeah. What's the bet in that Florida, instead of taking all this free push and then winning with the EMP, tries to force a fight way early on? Oh no, okay. So, that was a really just good just Great trance. Free grab though. Mm, beat's gonna be there, but actually Yannis is uh, getting bashed by apply as well. Bubbles out. There's now a good opportunity for the. Just no, okay, an amazing gob disengaging that fight. Yeah, I really thought they were gonna get caught there. Yeah, like their cool their cooldowns were all used pretty well to disengage. They managed to live a fight with EMP. Uh, grabs out, beat. Do they actually manage to focus anybody? No, they back off. Okay, so they, they just want to disengage and get value out of the trance. Grab is used. Where's, where's oh Hagepin again? Oh, Hagepin was using his trance, but Chris just got focused through it. Mm, Zephyr split inside jail. Wow! Okay, so that fight was 150 damage away from being Mayhems. Yeah, if they killed Corey and Janice when they overextended into the grab, like, that was such a free fight. I don't know, Goat's meta is really weird. I feel like if you grab and you don't have support ults, trying to kill anyone in the grab can sometimes be really sketchy. Yeah, only if they have no run shield, it's, like, possible, but the run can't just go and swing because everyone's looking. 
Yeah. And your bubble yeah. is gonna get melted so get, quick. Yeah. Especially if it's like at the start of the fights and you're like retaking, your Zarya has no inner. Okay, where's BQB? Where's Guido as well? Yeah, see, like right there. Guido trans perfectly, Janna still dies. Yeah. And it's so awkward too, because like you have to go for the play as the Zen, because it's like your outplay, but it's. It can still. So bad if yeah. it fails. It's actually weird, like if you ever use beat to counter EMP, because it's not really enough HP to make up for the fact that you're hacked. So like trance, at least you can sustain through all the damage, but generally if you beat to counter an EMP, you like still lose the fight anyway. So yeah, it feels really yeah. awkward. And then you end up over investing and fucking yourself in the alt economy. Titans were doing that quite a lot against the uh, charge. When they yeah, played Titans against us. have a bad habit of ulting a lot in fights they're down members. Yeah. It doesn't seem yeah. to matter for them, obviously, like if you look at their record. But they do commit a lot of ults in like 5v6s. Titans have also had a fairly easy strength of schedule, actually. Like, it's not been uh, disastrously difficult. Playoffs will definitely be interesting. Hey, will, yeah. I think uh, it's a big weakness for them when they play against Sombra. What is going on here? Oh my god, they almost gave them that. With a really slow rotation and like... Not being uh, decisive on whether they wanted to drop or not. Huge shatter. Yeah. That's, That's actually big because Justice didn't even have to... Yeah, the... I thought Justice were gonna have to invest ults and that that shatter is fat. It just lets them save really everything. Too, to not trans the grab. I think what, it was interesting, like, win this. Th that situation was so perfect for Justice not to get outplayed. Like, the grab was against a wall, so Addo was able to full shield Cory, which is, like, super, super uncommon, but actually mattered because they both got low, but neither died because Addo's shield tanked so much damage. I think this can still go either way. Yeah, yeah I mean, e EMP... Comes down to the EMP, I think. Shatter. I think he's trying to get he a hack on Fazix in the back. They're fucking dueling each other in the back. Oh, they forced he just out located the... out. Yeah, he forced Why out. Why are so aggro still? Run away, for God's sake. Okay, they're gonna soundbar and engage themselves. Where is BQB at this point in time? Is he gonna be able to catch Guido? Ooh. Self destruct in the back. Attempt at a shatter. The shatter actually catches Fazix. He's on the floor. What the fuck happened there? The EMP was used and I didn't see it. Did it get cancelled? No, he, he got it, it off. Oh, another How do you big throw shatter. This if you're mayhem? Another big shatter from Yanis. They get caught in the grab. This is theirs. This is Justice's. Wow. Justice is going to win. It's Flo happening. Florida beef that one. Big beef. Big beef. Yeah, like, he was being super greedy and I guess looking for supports before he MP'd, right? Because he didn't want to get it countered. Mm. But I don't think you have time to do that in that fight. Mm. And Florida are going to run Sumbra Goats on the defense. Washington run in. Are yeah, I don't like the... this. I like Winston Goats on defense here. Yeah. Although them, I might be infected with the fusion Winston Goats virus. Uh, I, I definitely think Winston Goats, Goats is the goal. best. You can just run triple or for DPS into Goats in defense and just... Win can the you? First one. If you're Florida Mayhem, can you? I don't think you can. <laughs> <laughs> but never mind. But yeah, <laughs> I think. Uh, or if you're Justice, I mean, neither of these teams, yeah. I think, have shown a speed DPS over the gap. Too. Speed over the gap. Wait, how Janice. did he reply? So, oh, Janice, just Janice beefed didn't it. jump. He just literally didn't press his <laughs> space bar. Nobody booped him. Nobody body blocked him. He just didn't press his space bar key. BQP is already 70. I don't really, I don't like the Sombra at all on two. Maybe on attack, but not defense. I feel like it's very easily abusable. I don't see a way where you can run it on defense successfully. I feel like stopping grab combos or even just having a threat of it is so important. Yeah, I mean, Giannis is gonna die, but they. Okay, all Florida. How do you yeah. commit EMP and lose this fight? Well, they'd already lost the fight by the time it even begun. Like, by, by the time the EMP was even there, Justice just played the point. Florida have to back off because they can't take a fucking 6v5, right? And then they just. They'd already lost. There was so much pressure on Swan because he was the only player that could even touch the point. So it's really good know. for Justice because they're already on point. Mm, yeah. 
and this EMP isn't available as well. I think once Swan had gone down, he probably shouldn't have invested the EMP. I think smart teams would have realized that fight was already over. But also, smart teams would have been playing their po playing the point a little bit better with their D.Va as well. Oh no, they don't have a D.Va, do they? Of course. Smart teams would be playing that comp. Uh, yeah, that comp just... Cap on yeah. Sky, yeah. Has anyone gone over six minutes? With time back on Wallsky. I don't think they'll get six, though. Yeah, probably not. It's very close. Mm. Okay, Chris messed up his wall ride pretty, pretty bad there. <laughs> He's just floating around the point. So for Swan are on though. Mm. Stacking support ults. Nice. Oh, that's it's not going to make any difference though. I think. Uh, asserting, asserting dominance. your dominance. <laughs> <laughs> Fazix and Guido absolutely asserting their dominance. Yeah, Sombergot's not great on the defensive Volskaya. Did San Sam just go to type in team chat <laughs> after they capped? We was whispering someone. Well played, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, sometimes you can use team chat to like, if the coaches are, are giving feedback that like everybody should be listening to, but you also want to be talking, instead of talking over them, you can just type. Mm. This is the real meta play. Or you whisper Poco every time he gets a big bomb, wow. It's the other <laughs> play. <laughs> wow! <laughs> That's the reason Philly is so inconsistent. When you guys start doing well, you're all just whispering each other, congratulations. And then you forget to no, focus no, on the no, game and you lose. No, no one's saying anything on team voice. Everyone's just start whispering each other. Yeah, man. We actually call out in uh, whispers too. For targets, obviously. Do you have like set key bindings for everything? I like key press bottom max and it says okay. something like, let's go in with... Chat, you cannot whisper people when they're on the owl client just so that's clear because i don't know how you could possibly be confused by that but <laughs> it's not like you can just tell them what to do coffee jake thanks for the twitch prime along with drox games as well which i missed previously lance with the donation 16 minutes ago as well uh the answer to your question if you're still hanging around in chat sorry i missed it is that uh, casters trip up on their words all the time. It doesn't, it isn't indicative of a lack of knowledge in a lot of situations. Like I frequently say the wrong ability or shit like that. It's just, uh, I mean, it's just one of the difficult skills when you do in public speaking is being aware of every word that you're saying and making sure that you say the right one at the right time. Especially when your focus is on something different. Like if you know what happened in the previous fight, but you're trying to pay attention to the ults to set up for the next fight, and you're trying to like still make your mouth say what happened in the previous one, even though you're looking at different things, it can be very easy to trip over your words. Some people are just more prone to it than others. I don't think it necessarily means that those people don't know what they're talking about. Just talk. Just, just move your tongue, Omega lol. It's also a really unique form of public speaking, where it's a lot of on-the-fly stuff. Well, yeah. Right, like, it's not... There's, like, no rehearsal, and you don't really have time, especially when casting, to, like, form... Like, I'm impressed with every caster, because I have tried casting, and I cannot form coherent sentences about, like, what I want to be talking about ever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a tough skill, isn't it? Why is... Only four. I don't understand why teams are playing Rhine Goats and then holding on top of this hut. Like, that's unfortunate. Okay. Well, that's uh, le problem. It's not like they get. Oh, Fasix is fed. I was about to say the Washington doesn't really have an advantage because they only got some. Why did Fasix run in? <laughs> Is Fazix trying to every flank time. them and boop them off the high ground? <laughs> yeah. What's he trying well, to achieve? You know. To each his own. Like, the he advantage when you pick the Sombra is just that you can keep pressure on her when she comes through the choke, yeah, right? Of and force her out, but, I mean... It's not like you can go right, punish the other six players, uh, the other five players, really. Thank you, Boogeyman, for the Twitch Prime. All right, BKB at 90%. I'm just playing with the team at the moment. I think it's the MP shatter and win. Oh, Sansam's taking a lot of damage up top. Discord orb got bashed, but nobody's really got a sightline on him. Corey bumped into BKB there. Oh my god. The MP was really bad. Dude, he keeps going for Zen. Yeah, he's tunneling on Guido right now. Where he could just 
EMP the Rhine. If they had EMP'd Rhine Zarya there before the grab had come out, I mean, for starters, he would have realized that the, that the grab was about to come out as well and wouldn't have, you know, used it at the worst time possible. But also, it, it, they're also just so far away. Like, they could have got the kill before Guido and Fazix were even there. I don't know. So I kind of feel like it's... Normally, this is something I would flame him for, but it's, it's pretty clear that, like, this is Mayhem's coached understanding of what they should be doing, right? Yeah. So, like, I don't even want to blame BQB because he's clearly, like, been through Vaudervues with the team and, like, this is their play style with it. So even though I think, like, fundamentally it's wrong, he is executing it well if that's his plan, I guess, right? Yeah, he's certainly getting the MPs on the targets. It's just not working out for them. It's a bad plan. Uh, whose plan it was is uh, unknowable, but it certainly seems like a plan rather than just him making improvisations on the fly, yeah. Also, it seems like Mayhem just wants to farm EMP and not do anything every fight. Yeah. Justice actually looked pretty good. I mean, I don't really understand in the first fight what Justice were doing. They kind of waited to take a fight until Florida had EMP, which is weird. But They also aren't really having to do anything, though, Justice. I mean, there's no pressure on them, right? They, they, they can just stand there and spam all they want. And like they're t totally in control of the tempo because Florida are not doing anything other than just trying to farm EMP. So I don't yeah, think Florida. I don't think it's hard for Justice to look good here. Yeah, it's like Florida hasn't done anything aggressive like this uh, map on attack. They're just looking at each other until the EMP is live. Fair. You could even say Justice have looked bad because they've done nothing aggressive either. <laughs> yeah, and they've just <laughs> waited for the EMP themselves. I mean, if one of these EMP fights actually worked out for them, they'd kind of be like, fucked with what, what is this play? I, I don't know. They're trying to bait the EMP into only going onto Yanis. That's why he's the only player that's forwards. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> only with one person, though. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was, that was uh, so weird. Okay, so they solo grab Orion, thinking they can kill him, but they don't insta-pin. Instead, they wait for the trance to get to the grav, then they go for the pin. They still can't kill through it. And then Janus, because he's not holding shield, he gets hacked. And then they get shattered. And now they snowball with the MP and grab, probably win. That's kind of unlucky, but also just played terribly from DC. BQB's already in the back, scouting out where the supports are, so... Let's see how this one works out. See if he still tries to go for... I mean, it's more important to get, you know, a support here, or at least to be able to... Um, find a good EMP on the front line and burst them down, but... Okay, Justice are going to try and go aggressive. Both teams pop rally. They're going to try and trade a bit of aggression. BQB's coming around the right-hand side. If they can get Yanis, okay, they get the hack. But he doesn't even go for the EMP. Now you mean they're smart. I don't think Mayhem could have followed up. I just don't get why he decloaked. You don't think they could have like followed up there? I mean, why? Uh, Weren't they just ha ha right around the corner? They were close, but like I don't think you can kill Janus before Guido gets trance in. Mm. Generally, the Zen has to have like pretty clean LOS to the front to go Big EMP first, that but... time, but they haven't found anybody. Uh, Ado swap Sombra. They also got the EMP. They only got the one person. Yeah, they caught four people in the EMP, but everybody else just kind of disappeared, and then they chased oh. Sansam around for a long time. Mayhem was just go aggro with Zen old now. It's just connect on anything. Okay. Oh. It's so weird watching these two teams. I feel like they don't make the normal choice a lot of the time. Like, I have no idea there why Yanis was really far forward, just getting a shot in the back by, uh, by BQB. Did he get hacked or something as well? But also, they were playing... Florida are playing so passive when they've got trans available and there's nothing on the other side. It, it seems very unpredictable, the way that both of these teams are playing. They're scared to go on opportunities. Yeah, they're playing kind of slow. Very slow. Like, I don't know why that is. Maybe being indecisive or not knowing exactly what to do. But like, every time the other team like has no grab or heal ult, and you have a heal ult, you just go in. Yeah. My my guess is their their view of goats versus Sombra goats is we want to find Sombra, pressure her out before we engage. But the issue with that, I feel like, is if they have EMP or they're farming EMP, like 
you, you have to make you have to proactively make those opportunities happen. You can't like wait for her to decloak and try to farm EMP. You want to be like posturing aggressively and spamming their shield and making them like back up and like use CDs to take space. And then as soon as the Sombra decloaks and you force her back, you're like close enough to engage, but they're playing so far back that they're not even like trading cooldowns in like the neutral fight. Yeah, just like. giving them a, a shit ton of space to work with. I really like, uh, like you said earlier, Elk, uh, with Sun Gods and like every defense. But I guess they don't have to worry about that when the other team can't play 3 DPS. Or... Amazing copy pass through in my chat. <laughs> Working out. The harrowing tale of a, a person who's in crippling insomnia was cured by this game. <laughs> Alright, so... Justice yeah, are holding on, on this hut. Here. Oh no, they're not holding on the hut. They've dropped down and they're trying to play a bit more aggressive in the choke. So okay, um, Justice are actually playing like a bit that. more aggro. But now they're all on point and gave up high ground. Sun Sun pressures him out. I think Justice knows what to do now. Pause accessing the boop. Yeah, like, he's not looking for it. I don't know why. I feel like if you boop anybody off high ground, you instantly... How? You have three people peeling Sombra and your Zen still dies. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. what? Sun Sam got hacked and BQB used his translocator up in the high ground and just used the opportunity of... Like, he got a hack on Sun Sam and then just used all of that opportunity to try and farm Guido. I don't know. What? Like, how does he kill Guido there 1v3? They just look lost <laughs> a lot of the time, some of these players. Like, they, I feel like the... I don't know whether it's a lack of experience or just a lack of game knowledge or something, but a lot of the players on these lower-level teams, like, particularly Justice, where they have a bunch of rookies and, like, I don't know, people that haven't been on good teams before, uh, they, they have, if they get caught out in an unusual situation or, like, not a situation that they absolutely are 100% comfortable in, they just... They look totally lost. Like, they just don't make a decision, which I think is the worst. It's like, they don't even make a wrong decision, they just don't make a decision. Like, Guido and Sansam and Fazix all just stood there and allowed themselves to die. Nice spoop. I think Mayhem finally did a really good play where they went in before they got heloads the other. Yeah, they played aggro so enough there. Play. They also didn't, like, overcommit ults to do it either, which makes yeah. 3 2 for DC impossible. It was a nice boop off the high ground to catch Corey as well. Yeah. It's a really interesting, like, game as Lucio because you want to be playing super aggressive, but then you need to, like, not... Cruz is, like, the one of the really polar, like, extreme examples of this, where he plays really aggressive and gets an absurd amount of value. But, like, a lot of teams obviously shut him down, and that's why he dies first the most of every Lucio in the league. Whereas, like... Just don't die. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Is like there's a zone there where you still have to be a threat of making yeah, okay. plays, so teams can't just sit on high ground like that. But also not dying is definitely really hard because every team looks at you a different amount. So it's like something to get used to. I think definitely think Cruz is one of the players who gets most value from boops, but like in general or like the quantity of them. But I think there are better players abusing the timings and windows of the that they don't like play super aggro, but they like see the timings and they go for the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They may I... not get it as often, but it's I think it's better. Or... Yeah, Cruz just seems a little a little predictable in that he'll always be going for the play, so it's an opportunity to shut him down. Because I mean, we made a call on Rialto to let him boop us from high ground into their team because we knew he was going to try to boop us, and then we killed them. That was fucking ridiculous. I watched that happen, and it was the strangest shit. Yeah, like, we're like, okay, careful of the boop, and that was like, just push. Like, get booped. Just, <laughs> that's kind of... fight them. Yeah, that, just that's get booped, forehead. It's actually kind of funny, or that I can see the dilemma as a Lucia player there. You want to boop them in towards your team and try to get a... But the better play is just to boop them towards the point on the Rialto, like, uh, I don't know what to call it, Terrace or something. Mm -hmm. So they can't get go aggro on you either. It would have been uh, fine as well if he'd only managed to boop, you know, one player or whatever, split and isolate the team a little, but... Booped five players straight in. 
I do think, though, the worst thing you can have for your team is a Lucio who does not ever play Mook. Because, like, the, the threat of it is just so, so crazy. Like, even Animo, who I think is one of the most passive Lucios in the league, still makes a lot of plays to either, like, disengage or, like, force close fights. Yeah, or, like, the enemy team slowly backing up and he boops him in. I think Animo is the best player when you go, like, in timings-wise for when going acro. Yeah, he's also really good at just like pocketing mono and making sure he doesn't get pressured too hard. Yeah. Yeah, the peeling is very good. Which is what I think like um, Cruz suffers from a little bit as well. Is that he's often not there to be able to to uh, use those boops defensively rather than aggressively. Nice, uh, nice decisive team fight there. People in chat are talking about Kuki. Yeah, I don't I mean, want to talk about Kuki. That makes me sad. <laughs> but I think uh, I'll talk about Kuki in that saying uh, Kuki seems like a classic example of the kind of Lucio you just don't have to be scared of. So it allows you to take more risks and play in uh, better positions, which I think is uh, one of the reasons that Valiant are suffering. I don't know. I feel like when I see Kuki and like. There's just like a reason that main supports play main support and wall riding mechanics sure they're important But knowing when to beat is like So crazy important especially in this meta and Kuki definitely does not have it The support ults have consistently been really poor from Valiant like Iziaki's trances have actually been really poor sometimes as well I don't know whether like, it's like a team misunderstanding of when you're supposed to use support ults in GOATS I haven't really watched the Valiant games. Okay, they're very strange to watch. They're very strange to watch because they actually look like they're not terribly tragic and then they make horrible mistakes. They like, their average level of play doesn't seem terrible and then they just throw things away, particularly the rolls. Like map five against us on Busan, Kariv had three zero man grabs. They didn't get eaten. Like he managed to hit zero people with them three mm. times. And then they just, like, just you know. do you know how you play around that? Just, just run away from the grab. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> run away from the EMP. Run away from the grab, forehead. Yeah. Just have your Lucia use speed boost and run away. <laughs> or get booped. That's another threat. Justice are really struggling now that they... When they didn't win in that first engagement and allowed the ultimates to get up, they've just really been struggling because they're so slow to get into position here against Florida Mayhem that as soon as they are in position, Florida have ults available to be able to like wait for the EMP and then win based off EMP. I, I think just this the last three times they've pushed, it's been against the EMP because they've taken so long to be able to actually apply pressure to Florida. Yeah, the proper call here is uh, walk main, go point, press Q, speed on Ryan, force ults, die, and then come back and do it again. Yeah. Definitely. I don't think like Washington even has to do these fancy rotations. No, they, like literally just run. No. Away. Yeah, they, they can even just go like main and they can just have your diva and Lucia boop them down. It just takes far too long for them to be able to rotate all around the map and they're just giving BQB this EMP. And they haven't even forced out the other ults as well. So, like, even if they do die to the EMP, it doesn't help them for the next fight. Especially because they sustain, they try and sustain themselves during the EMP and then BQB just gets all of this cleanup damage that puts him at like 50% in the next fight. Dude, Janice just did it again. <laughs> Failed to jump. He wasn't the only one. Yeah. yeah. Everyone but Corey failed to jump. Yeah, how do you... I think Corey was there alone. Yeah. Was they get the pin through the Transcendence, and Apply's gonna die, so this could be it. Is BQB miles away as well? Did, where was BQB in the middle of all of this? Did I miss the fact that BQB got picked early in the fight or something? Anyone have any ideas in chat? What happened I to BQB so there? Go back and check. I know that he didn't actually have the EMP until late, but I thought that BQB would be somewhere around. Maybe he just realized the fight was lost and bailed early on. Okay, he's under them when they go to cross, and then he hacks Diva, and then Weapon. Oh, can I? He locates out, and then before he comes back, his team drops in and fights. Okay, well, genius play from Florida Mayhem then. Always force yeah. the engagement when you're 5v6 and your uh, Sombra is at 95% EMP. That's what I always say. I don't think Justice has a uh, way to win this fight. Then. BQB. Mayhem has to fuck up. Yeah. yeah. I mean, their EMPs haven't been amazing, but even without EMP, they still have advantage. So. The thing is, they don't even have to EMP. 
Yeah. To win this. I say just jump in that big robot over there and take it that way. They can just go in with beat and if they beat, they just DM. But they will, they like have to beat kind of thing. Washington Justice coming around the side. Wait for the EMP right now, that's the key ability. Yep, BQB waiting for it. BQB getting pressured by Sansa. Mayhem's just, it's just going with a heal ult before they get, Washington gets their heal. Yeah, 100%. Janus goes for tier, It's like the only way you lose. Why? What the hell? Okay. If you... Oh. EMP gets cut by the barrier. They're okay. not actually able to find those picks. They get caught in the grav. B comes through. Oh, and they've... Oh, no, they haven't executed that very well. Janus missed his pin. Found the wrong person. But okay, now that there's no support ults up, can they actually follow up? Do they have any damage in this grav? No. Janus okay, is so able to stay alive. Gonna... After this, guy, we're going to teach your chat about some very important old economy lessons and how not to be like the Florida man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so if you have a support ult and they have a support ult, you generally don't want to engage because their support ult second will be better, right? If, let's say, both teams have beat like they did there. If you also have EMP and you engage with beat, they cannot sound barrier or they get EMP'd and they lose. So the only possible way you can lose that fight is by engaging with EMP. All of your other ults are better because they can still force beat, right? Like they all have an equal chance to force beat. However, your EMP then beats the beat. Whereas if you engage with EMP, it is the only scenario you can set up for yourself where you have a bad ult economy there. And they waited as well long enough for all of the ults to be up for justice. If they'd played really aggro with the EMP and caught somebody before those support ults were even in position, then maybe they'd be, been able to convert the fight, but they just... It wouldn't have even been that bad if they EMP'd like early, because they took so long to EMP, they managed to farm their heals and then they just won because they had but heal. But if they went right away, they would have been up a EMP. Yeah, but they waited for every ult to come online, and then... BQB Just hits, uh, yeah, yeah. EMP, where all you end up doing with it is trading the sound barriers. Well, Florida, with their uh, classic ability to throw maps. Also, everybody says Justice is like an American team. Right now, they're playing four Korean players. So, <laughs> please just, uh, just keep that in mind. <laughs> They have crazy NA branding, though. I mean, Washington Justice's logo might as well be Captain America's shield. In fact, I think it almost is. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. What is Chris doing? Why, why is he ready for the boob? <laughs> <laughs> did you guys know that the K in K Kona stands for Korea? I did not. That's a good one. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, not, not, not really, Big Goose. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, nice right click, Gino. Yeah, that is that is rough. Florida started playing normal goats, and I don't think Justice realized oh. quick enough. Corey flag. Um. Oh my God. Mayhem. Oh, kill Corey. Kill Corey. Oh. What? Corey How did that not die. shatter oh, him? Corey isn't gonna die. Oh my goodness. Swan just missed the shatter. Didn't he get his personal up in time? No, no. He, he didn't realize Corey was going to get stunned, so we shattered in front of him. Really? I'm pretty oh my I'm, god. I'm very. I'll clip it and watch it back, but I'm pretty confident in that. Oh, they're still going to take this. Us. <laughs> okay, they're still going to get to take this. Corey nearly clutched that. Just wandering yeah. around the back with an off angle and killing Hagopion. Yes, guaranteed. He did not block it with personal. Ha. Huh. Big shot from Swan. Yeah, he just harped it. That's unlucky. <laughs> they can win with a draw? Yeah? Will they win with a draw, though? I don't think so. I think Florida will just run Sombra Goats and win with an EMP. Uh, if you're Wait, how playing long versus a got? good team... One minute 40. A minute 37-ish. If you're playing versus a good team, you get EMP up for the last fight. Ish. Yeah. So like, 
Justice, I wouldn't say, are very good at denying Sombra ult charge. I mean, if you were playing against a top team too, they would just go triple DPS. Yeah. And you only need one <laughs> yes. pick too. Yeah. yeah. True. But, uh, you, yeah. You'd I actually lose instantly playing Ryan Goats because their Hammond will go point and you cannot contest that yeah. early. But we're not playing real Overwatch here. It's also very easy to execute, in my opinion. The quad DPS? Yeah. yeah the only was. time quad DPS is hard is into when you need three ticks on first point. That's like where you can sometimes fuck up. But like one tick is almost guaranteed. You know, I've actually... The, the biggest time I ever saw a team fuck up is when uh, they ran a triple DPS with a... Uh, what was it? A Hammond and a D.Va... And their Zen played Hanza. Oh yeah, that was Philadelphia. That was Philly failed to oh, wow. get one what, tick what? with that <laughs> with that <laughs> dribbly comp on Volskaya. See, I don't remember being in that game, so <laughs> I, I personally can't comment. You weren't in that game, but that that had me mad tilted watching that shit. That was so dumb. Especially because yeah, like Volskaya was one of your best maps. I like the way Florida took this. They didn't take fancy routes. Yeah, they're also not playing the Sombra uh, as well. I thought they would just try and farm the Sombra. But now we're just getting into direct goats for goats, and honestly, I think now you're just playing into the justice. Like this is where yeah, justice is most a, comfortable. This is a terrible matchup. So I think this is a bad idea from Florida. I think justice just wants to go in and get two fights in. I don't think they want to have one Florida? good. Yeah. 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 I mean that's yeah, also a, a good point, but Swan's totally isolated here. I think. Uh. They're trying to peel for him, but I think this is eventually going to go I mean, that's it. That's that just way. the map. Like, you, you lost the neutral, and it took you a minute ten to do so. Yeah. yeah. If you hard engage, you at least maybe get ults. Mm -hmm. but... uh, did they kill apply? No. Uh, Washington won the series. Yeah. I mean, who's even touching? Are you bubbling your Lucio to touch? Oh, your Zen is touching. Oh. Oh wait, that was so badly coming to get a Janus? Oh, what Zephyr the fuck was touch. that? Zephyr was already in a position to touch and Hagipion used his trance just to be able to touch. So now they're a full ult down when they had and no need And then Janus shattered a trancing Zen. <laughs> oh my god, they're gonna lose! Oh wow, they really how are. Do you, how do you lose this fight? <laughs> oh er, Jesus. Oh my god. Never mind. Never mind, Florida are geniuses. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. That was impressive. That, that was a big communication. Yeah. No, trancing on the flank to force shatter there was actually big. You give them a, a false sense of security, right? And then they go to engage you, and you're like, oh, but we have a grav. And then they're like, well, we can trance the grav, but our brig is bad. So she got stuck in the grav, and we have no bubbles up for some reason. So our brig dies to pin. Oh my yeah. god. Genius, genius. That's the that's the classic burn all of your abilities to try and fuck up the flanking trancing Zen. <laughs> that was impressive. Hack on Dorado I'm not a fan of for first point. I think defense it's a lot better. Yeah, on attack like why you justice just inst I mean insta dropping's not terrible, but now you let Sombra farm from behind you. Instrapping is fine as long as you play aggressive, though. If they just keep giving room here, this is terrible. Okay, all right, now they are playing a little aggro. I just want to Mayhem to do something when BQP is doing something. Yeah, they're, they're taking it in turns. Like, BQP goes in, and then Florida push. <laughs> and then, like... Yeah, it's, like, kind of funny that when BQP TPs out, that should be, like, the last goal signal to go in. Yeah, yeah, you. yeah. That's when Mayhem's going in, so it's very... <laughs> yeah, it's... Oh, they're, they're literally going in at the exact wrong time. Like, you should be doing it both at the same time, so you're causing a bit of distraction, right? But they're, uh... Okay, so Justice dropped, allowed BQB to farm 50%, then backed off towards Arch. Uh, okay, so they, like, they here's, a minute off here's the clock. my point, right? You're holding close to buy time, but that's not what you're supposed to be doing against Sombra Goats. So I'd rather sit high ground, make them push the cart under you, and then just speed and hard engage on them. Because if you drop and play the corner like normal goats, like they can disengage easily. They still build EMP. And like, sure, you get time off the clock, but it's not really what this matchup is. It certainly feel like Justice could have done a, <coughs> a better job at hard engaging, even when they were holding close as well. <coughs> but yeah. they didn't even really try. They're still playing very passive. And they're still really giving up a lot of room here. Like, they didn't even play aggressive in the arch. 
You know what I mean? Like, they're literally just giving them all of this room for free. They're worried about the uh, the EMP being up now, but they're giving them a lot of free push. Uh, Guido's there again with the trance. Guido's trance is still good, but it's not enough to be able to counter the EMP. Once you get on tacos on attack, it's like almost game over for defense. They hit like Corey even. too. Yeah, I, I agree. They hit Corey and Guido so they could bubble Janus, but Janus got killed so quickly, Corey couldn't even peek in time to bubble him. Huh. Well, Justice looking scared so far in this map. I wonder if it's a bit of that mental from uh, previous game. Yeah, I mean. I don't know. It's it's hard to say, but like yeah, it's impossible against Sombra. Really, but... I really just don't think Justice are playing good. Like Titans are so good against Sombra because Titans already play YOLO in your face. <laughs> yeah. So like their play style is just good against Sombra in general. Yeah. Yeah, I think they struggled against Charge not because they're bad against Sombra, but because they're bad against like over investing in EMP fights. They they had a butt ton of fights where they over invested ultimates. Oh, Sansan with the nice eat. Chris Better is at 97. EMP. Oh man, six man EMP. Wait, Fazix lost beat? No, Fazix used to beat. They used to beat aggressively to try and find picks against the. Uh, into the EMP. Uh, yeah, into the EMP. But I, I don't think the, e I don't think the Sambar actually got stripped off. I think BQB waited a little bit until they got a bit more aggressive. But yeah, again, Sambar invested into, into EMP. Very odd. I don't know. Beat is like best to use proactively the fight after the EMP. Otherwise, it's like so so gambly for the value you get. Although just trying to use Beat ever against Sombra kind of sucks. Yeah. Feels like there's no good solution, especially if your team isn't good at the time. Or like they're not sure when to go in and when not. Nice shatter from Swan, stopping all of that aggression that would have uh, allowed the Graf Bomb combo to work. Now it's pretty even and BQB is at 75%. Sound barrier. Oh, nice bash as well from Apply. What the fuck? Okay, so let's just, let's just admire the fact that Justice almost, and probably still will, just lost two back-to-back -back fights to EMP. Yeah. That's impressive. <laughs> They're so bad at oh. just giving up. Why? Why does Fazix use that? That fight didn't look winnable at all. Did I miss something? Was it? Was it winnable? It didn't look winnable to me. It looks like a very yeah, questionable one. Yeah, like it's not. It's not super clear because you have spawn advantage and it's like a three v three or three v four. But it definitely wasn't winnable. But he yeah. may not have been the person who called it was winnable. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Somebody, uh, somebody thought it like was. That's, yeah, that's what's weird. Somebody could have yelled, beat, 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 and like, you're going to press Q and somebody says that because you trust them. Yeah, for sure. Guess what mayhem has again. <laughs> yeah, they're going to lose a third fight in a row to EMP. <laughs> I mean, if Florida's smart, maybe they just grab if they don't think Keto has trance yet. The fights are taking so long that BKP is getting so many ult. These grab gets tranced. Seeing if they can get a charge. Mm. Kind of I don't know better. if I like that EMP. I don't think you needed to use it there. No, they had a much better transcendence that definitely would have won them the fight in the end. But yeah. I guess they just absolutely make sure with the EMP. The problem is what you do here. Like, EMP would be so fucking useful at this corner. Okay, BQP should pull a Zachary special and he should throw his translocator above the main door to come out there. When the Rhine walks out, locate up, hack the Rhine, go for a shatter. Mm. I bet. Justice is gonna wait until Flory gets one heal ult before they go. <laughs> oh, no, minus one is going aggro. I mean, this is fine. Oh, just forcing out the Oh, yeah, really nice stun. Just, just stop fighting, just reset. BKB at 50%. So they go in, they force the grab. Support ults don't really get charged too much by Guido and Fazix, and they manage to uh, get up 60%, so. Yeah, it's fine. Things still, it's look, great, still looking pretty fine. good for Florida. Ha, huh, BQB dies. I mean, I think you want to take one more dry fight. I think you want to full commit, like rally, engage, look for grav, shatter the grav. Just trying to win off that. And then, like, if somehow they use all their ults and still win the fight, that's fine. You retake with the MP. But all I, all I have for Mayhem is that they have a plan if Justice decides to go aggro with Steve. 
which they probably won't. But it could be a losing fight if they don't know what to do against. Yeah, that's true. I mean, their plan should be if they diva bomb, we beat and full commit. Or our full team get shattered. They got beat off. If they have a MP shatter, oh, they have two helos. Yeah. I don't want to say unlosable because Volskaya was rough, but. Uh, support ults are available, and everybody on Florida is on the high ground. They need to. Uh, they need to have decent focus fire here, and that's been a bit of an issue for them. It looks like they're trying to. Who are they trying to? Okay, they just find Ado. And when the sound barrier gets used, okay, well, sound barrier just gets ripped away instantly. Then. I would say this is. Like, if you're Justice, you had to do something proactive. Like, you're just waiting. Yeah. Well, uh, what are you waiting for? What is... This is my question. If you're Justice and you're not engaging, what are you trying to do? <laughs> what is your game plan? Yeah, because, like, I, I, if they have one, that's fine. But I want to know, like, if, if they're thinking that they can bait EMP and stay alive when they know the enemy team is Shatter, like, that is fundamentally wrong. So I have a problem with that. I could see if your plan is, like... When they get close with bubbles, like we speed engage with trance, and then even if they EMP us, we're trancing already, so it's like not awful. And then like Fozix maybe hides, and he can try to beat after the EMP too, so the shatter doesn't kill anybody. But the plan of we're gonna wait here and let them set up is the perfect situation, the and then try to counter EMP yeah. is just not realistic. Yeah. Or maybe just a lack of confidence. Either way, NYXL ripped off Justice hard. Wood Tia says, uh, is it just me or does Yanis look clueless and clumsy or maybe just a lack of confidence? Either well, either way, NYXL ripped off Justice hard. <laughs> That's a fantastic- I've never actually <laughs> thought about that, but holy shit, NYXL did absolutely scam the Justice if, uh, if there was, uh, a large amount of money involved in the sale of, uh, these two players. Not- not that I genuinely think there was anything disingenuous going on there, I just think that Justice overpaid for- Two NYXL players that, um, or two NYXL members. It, Taimu has a good point. What was Taimu uh, saying? This time they got two fights per 10 minutes. <laughs> it's so ridiculous, isn't it? That Justice just back off and are so scared in all of these situations. And, and oh, sorry, they, they play like this against everybody. Like, I, I've, I've, I've said then, they're not feeders, they certainly don't feed, they try and minimize mistakes, but they play so passive, they, they literally just sit there, they sit there and look at you. Yeah, I don't think they know when and how to go in yeah. when they play passive. Uh, but that seems to be a fault with the shot caller, right? Or like okay. a fault with the understanding of the players. Uh, Massive right. brain understanding. Wizard Young is coaching them like he wanted to coach NYXL. He wants them to play reactive because that was NYXL style and it was so successful. Yeah. You cannot do that if you are not a well synergized and mechanically gifted team. Mm. So he's trying to make a team that's advantage will be being unpredictable, right? That's the only advantage you could argue Justice would have at all is being unpredictable. And he's taking that away by wanting them to play reactive. And maybe it's not him, but that's what their play style's yeah. doing. At least I feel. I think it's... Even this season, or however long Wizards Young stays with Justice, is going to be in some sense uh, a, like a very strange view of Wizards' abilities because he's acting as a head coach rather than an analyst. And I think by far and away, from what I've heard, he would be better served. As like an what is analyst. happening this fight? That was a very bad fight for what me. What the fuck just happened? I don't even know what happened. We were watching no, the camera somebody angle was not a somber. Just was running around. Around. What did What did Florida do? Like, I'm sure Mayhem's plan was to just EMP, but BKP didn't catch up and he never EMP'd. And they just... It was good by Justice. They hard engaged, they split Mayhem. Mayhem didn't reply well. It seemed like they put a lot of damage on BQB as well. He was always fucking translocating around. That was very strange. But yeah, I think like in some sense it's unfair to consider uh, Justice a fair, um, a fair valuation of Wizard's skills because he's got like way less talent to work with on this roster than NYXL. And I mean, I that isn't also, even a flame, right? I mean, that's just uh, obvious that, to everybody. Yeah, but it's also a really arguable point that like why does a good coach need to be able to coach bad players? But I also think that this meta is the one meta where you 
like individual skill matters a bit less than other metas like mm. compared to everything else it's more about I but also i mean these the a lot of the reason that these players are unknown as well is not because of individual skill it's like if if players aren't well known or haven't been able to find success uh, on, and show themselves at a contenders level that isn't just because of their mechanics right it's like also their decision making their understanding of the game all of this kind of stuff so if you pick up rookie players you should expect like all of that to be worse as well normally it's not no, just also, mechanics na contenders is a weird place because it's like Corey did a lot on his team in contenders like he was the primary carry him and blase both played exceptionally in most matches um, but I don't know, like, it's, I, I don't like comparing contenders regions, but I think that NA contenders had a really weird environment where Fusion Uni kind of just consumed all of it. Yeah. Hurricane! <laughs> <laughs> well, like, we, we didn't even play GOATS, right? GOATS meta, like, we just played other comps and it made all of NA contenders think that GOATS was bad. Just because we didn't want to play it, because we had a flex DPS, who'd rather play DPS. Mm. In in other news, Washington are rolling right now. They are just taking fights, and Florida are crumbling. Like Florida can't set up their Sombra, and they're not buying time efficiently. And Justice have actually just started hard engaging, and they're winning. Yeah, it's really good. It's like perfect place to elegant Sombra. Yeah, they could still certainly get held here for four minutes. The Rado can be quite difficult to finish, but uh, it's looking good for them so far. I think it's a, if Washington can get the same momentum going as they did. Yeah. It's going to be good for them, but it's going to be really hard for them now. So Justice, hold up. We need to appreciate this. Justice just lost a fight where they were going to the fight with uh, Trance Beat, Rally, Rav, and they lost it to Beat Shatter. Right? That's impressive. I feel like... I feel like you should be willing to commit ults there. Maybe not. Like, maybe you hope that... I feel like every fight Mayhem don't have EMP, you should be willing to use all of your ults. Yeah, not even at the same time. Just use them, like, uh, one after another. And that was a really cheap fight for Florida. I guess they didn't have the Zen ults, so... Fozzik's got his beat cancelled? Really? By who? I did not see that. Oh, Fozix got hacked mid beat. It was a huge play from BQB. Damn. Does Timer want in the call? Timer is welcome to join if uh, if he actually wants to be in. But I know you guys just spam people's names whenever you see pros in the chat. It doesn't necessarily mean that he wants to be in the call at all. I like the shatter play. But I like how one person in the chat is saying, it's mineral in. <laughs> <laughs> So the thought process behind that flank shatter is like we have ult disadvantage, so we want to use one of our like lower value ults to try to get value right now, mm. which I think is super reasonable. But I don't think that should be the goal this fight. I think the goal this fight should have been force trance and grab. And they kind of they did force they grab, did force grab. Yeah, I mean Florida weren't going to be able to win that if they just played it on Justice's terms. So I, I'm never too bothered when teams try and do that. Uh, Hago, why is Hago whoa. not getting healing? Yeah. Hago doesn't get the... Uh... Yeah. I actually think that was a good play from Hago, not using Trance, but he just didn't get the... Yeah. Kinda unfortunate. And then Zephyr dies to that as well. Swan's gonna die. This is really unfortunate. <coughs> no, I mean, it's totally the right match. And they can still win. They have Gravity MP. Uh, oh, never mind. The MP? Never mind. No, but the B comes the, in. Uh, yeah. yeah, the Saria was in Spawn. I didn't realize that. Yeah. That's... I mean, I don't know whether... I mean, it was a good attack by Justice. Like, they played yeah, really well for a second. I don't know whether it applies uh, 
Break heals got fucked up, like, whether he tried to heal Hago and it just hit somebody else or something, but... Could have also just been on cooldown from healing Ryan. Yeah. But I also think, even if Mayhem wins this map, I don't think they're gonna win King of... Unless they have something else in their pocket that's not Goats or Sombra Goats. Because Washington just looks like the better GOATS team in this match. Yeah, if they keep playing aggressive, I think they'll beat the Sombra easily. It's funny that Mayhem did so much worse on defense with the Sombra than on attack. My shot are actually banana brains. <laughs> spamming ads. Is that a shot. good or a bad thing? <laughs> idiots. Absolute idiots. Okay. I don't know why banana... I don't know, their brains are literally bananas. Or maybe banana brain is like, you're actually a chimp. And so all that's going through your brain is the search for banana. I have a few banana emotes. Really? Okay. Yeah. Well, you know what to do, chat. Use your Twitch Primes on Big Goose. Go get those banana emotes. No, 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 not on mine. No, they're oh. not mine. They're not okay, well. Other oh, okay. Well, you can use your Twitch Prime on Big Goose anyway if you want to. <laughs> Darwick, Ridge yeah, Ghost, I, Edge TV, thanks for the Twitch Prime subs. I, I stream every other month, like once, so welcome. <laughs> they swapped to normal goats on attack here. Yeah. Maybe they don't think they have enough time to get EMP. Wow. Sansom gets demacked. Quite a bit of damage into Yanis as well. Ooh. Oh, split off Corey. What? I actually hate this. I think it's so easy to break this first fight on Dorado. Yeah, I, okay, because I totally agree. I want to play high ground, right? Like, sit high ground, get the free spam in, make them scared, pressure zen. If you see a good opportunity to engage, you can do it. But, like... Isn't the, isn't this, the entire the point of this, so though, high. is just to, like, feed on the cart as soon as the fight goes badly and not give up space? Because, like, your first fight, when you lose that first fight, you should still have got almost no pay, payload progress as the attackers. And instead, Justice are backing off whilst losing the fight, so they just get free push as well as losing in an unfavorable situation. Like the, right, the, but you gotta, you gotta remember how GOATS works, where if you win the first fight, statistically, it's so likely you win the second fight because of old economy. So it's like... For first points like this, you're either going to want to take three fights, like on Route 66 with the spawn camp, you get three fights. Mm. But two fights isn't really a good enough number to warrant taking a, a pretty suicidal fight like yeah. that. If you win it, it's really good. Depends how even the fight is, but it's even worse because, like, uh, if you win this, like if you win the first fight, you're more likely to win the second fight. So even if you keep going back and back and back, you're just it's even worse. Mm. I'm not even sure that's true, though, that if you win the first fight, you're uh, statistically much more likely to win the second fight. I think, I mean, uh, is there actually numbers to prove that? I, I have a feeling that unless you feed massively in the first fight, it can end up being very even in the second, like when the ults are oh, not online. Huge. I mean, yeah, I, I think it depends on the context. Yeah, the, I mean, I, I don't want to say empirically because I don't obviously have the numbers, but I do oh. think that... That's I mean, all economy bomb. is obvious. Wow. <laughs> is that that's, a preset? Weird. that's a preset bomb. That's awesome. Yeah, that's actually good if it's preset. That's nuts. That looks so precise. I don't really if, believe it's preset. You could line yourself up in like a corner for it, though, maybe. Yeah. yeah. I think the problem here is that if Washington loses this fight, they're only going to have one fight on third point. Eh? Monty just said, I've never seen two less clutch teams fight against each other. <laughs> I think that's, that's it's so true. It really is. Sandbar is nice. Justice don't have anything to be able to deal with this. Absolutely. They're going to get full roll. capped on, dude. Absolutely. We're going to see a 9 9 Dorado game. <laughs> is Fasik still building his first beat? He can't be, can he? That no, he must beated be the, the Shatter on second point. Right. Yeah. Washington only has one fight left. This is because they backed up way too much. Yeah, they um, just keep backing up. Point. They need. They need. I. I feel like if you're the coaches of Justice, you need to tell them as well. It's okay if you lose fights as long as you die on the payload. Sometimes, like as long as you stop the payload, that is literally the thing that wins you games. Right, but you want to know something really interesting? NYXL are the team that does that the least. That actually takes fights on the payload. Well, when they start losing a fight, they really do prioritize, like, denying ult charge and getting out with Zarya energy. 
Yeah, so, they, they always get out with the Zarya, but they feed other people in, right? Like, Mano always jumps yeah. in, or Libero always jumps they'll, in. They'll try to, yeah, they'll try to make sure that the Zarya gets to out. To make sure that Nene gets out. Yeah, of course it's, like, the most important is that the Zarya gets out, and that naturally means that the Zarya is probably What is out happening there. in this match? Can they burst through that? No, Fazix has managed to escape. I think this should be Justice's, what is right? Have? Oh, apply! Uh, sorry, not apply. Addo. Addo got caught oh. out. Ooh. Oh, big shatter. That's got to turn it, surely. No, yeah, Corey's about I to die. No, I, I don't oh, think it does. It Chris hasn't is going to get beat up. Chris it gets beat up and it's it. over. No one die before he gets beat up. Please, dear get God. Get the beat and kill the run. Okay, kill yeah. Ryan. Rush Ryan. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, BQB dies, though. He does send out two. And Yanis survived? Oh, it's my like Jimmy God. Butterfinger coming. All right. Justice have definitely got this. I mean, how do you lose this if you're Justice? You have to be able to win now. Now that they fucked the sound barrier up and didn't kill Yanis, and then BQB okay, so died, I mean, let's, that's... Let's break down how that fight went in my memory, <laughs> which is going to be hard. Uh, they pick someone, and then they trance in a 5v6. I'm pretty sure it was Ryan who died first from Justice, and then... Guido trances in a 5v6. Fight kind of stalls out a bit. Then Justice Grav and Mayhem trance, which is like fine. But then Mayhem try to counter Grav even though no one's pushing them. And then Fozix beats the counter Grav even though no one's in it. And then uh, Addo runs into the Grav. Totally reasonable play. And then splits and dies. But then Janice comes back and shatters the enemy Reinhardt and gets that pick. Then fight stalls out. Somehow Chris gets beat up. He beats. They don't kill anybody. They get grabbed. Lose Zarya and Grav, Trance, and then fall apart. I think the way Florida loses this, if they do the same as Washington, or they just keep backing out from the payload, even if it's like, you just have to jam in sometimes, even if the other team has a wriggle door and you don't. ZP just tweeted, right now on Overwatch League, extremely movable object meets always stopped force. This has been a series. <laughs> I think... I mean, Justice would be the extremely movable object, right? They just, they always move backwards. But I, I don't know whether I call Flay, like Mayhem are not the always stopped force. They're just, no, they're, an, both. they're just an extremely stoppable force. Both teams are both of those things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very movable, very stoppable. ZP stole that meme. Well, G Jesus Christ, call 9-11. Get uh, 911. <laughs> call 911. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. <laughs> call 911. <laughs> I, I totally beefed that. My my brain is not set up for American uh, numbers, you know. So in my head, 911 and 911 in terms of the the numbers used are just very similar. So yeah, what a what an unfortunate slip of the tongue. <laughs> Yikes! Your tweet chat. Yikes! Right now. Yikes! Okay, that's uh, <clears throat> we'll forget that one happened. Ah, nice, okay, Justice won first fight, obviously, because they're moving okay. quickly. But the problem is, with, with Sombra on the defense here, like, at some point they're going to have an EMP, and at some point they're going to win. Like, how the hell are Justice yeah. going to be able to push all the way through? Yeah. It's just not going to happen. BQB also got EMP in one fight, even though they <laughs> lost it. Really Rest good. in peace, my visa. Oh my god. <laughs> visa is gone, Visa is gone. <laughs> so if the person who's in charge of our visa doesn't watch your three. Four Cream, thanks for the tier one sub. Legalize ranch. What? Oh, yeah. EMP, six man EMP. No, Easy. this is why. But why are you Pretty EMPing bad. with 20 seconds this left? Is, yeah. the, no, well, and well, so well, close well, to the spawn well, as well. What? They could have just waited for them to push like 20 seconds and then go. But instead, they just took the fight. At least they farmed some more. They actually gave them an opportunity to win. Yeah. I mean, would it. Will you expect anything else? <laughs> Done it on most maps. Okay. Nice. Big Rav. Big transfusion. Oh, nice Ooh. Nice charge, is just asserting dominance. Yannis, Yannis is gonna oh, win nice. this with an Earth Shatter. Ooh, Counter Shatter? Oh. Mm. No, okay. He's gonna pin apply, that's good. EMP comes through. Five in EMP, they can't win it. Yeah. I think BQB well, was just farming stats with the EMP. <laughs> yeah, BQB. <laughs> Looking for numbers of enemies EMP. BQB's gonna launch Winston's lab as soon as this is over and just <laughs> get the lube out. 
<laughs> Dude, Fozix look, look, looks so done. His player came right there. That That's not what you want your player to look like. Kalua Zoldik, 500 bits. Both teams playing Ryan Goats. This is a map where I'm less sure if Winston Goats is better than Ryan Goats. It's a lot closer. Yeah. I think Winston's very playable, but I think Ryan is still probably better on, uh, on Ruins. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I it's something where, like, stylistically, if you're better with Winston, you can play it, but Ryan is probably objectively better. Chris Cade, I feel your pain. Thanks for the donation. The only thing that's making it better for me is that you're paying me to watch it. So Wait, I can... is talking? Yeah, you should check the aiming tweet. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, what? Is Eamon throwing shade? No. No. Oh. It's just a... Fucking bald DPS come tomorrow new match. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Okay, what's happening in this first fight? Mayhem are a little behind, give a point control. Oh, he does a lot of Corey's feeding. Oh, like why team. would you do that? Mm. I mean, the team that plays on the not on point should almost like should have an advantage. Yeah, or he also shouldn't have pushed forward to try to get a greedy pick. Yeah, he tried to demac some uh, demac uh, fucking McGravian. Ended up feeding. Now they're using ults. If they use another ult, that's terrible. Yeah, it would have been nice for Florida to be able to contest that whilst they had superior positioning. I think that's a, a pretty, a pretty. It's not a massive mistake. Like obviously the positioning, you want to be able to win the fight. You don't really, you're not like super bothered about the percentage. But giving up 26 percent in a fight that you win is, you know, definitely yeah, not good. I think this is one of the hardest sub maps to read. Unless they... That was a good rotate by Justice to try yeah. to uke Mayhem. This corner where Swan can contest from is just so hard to break. Okay. This is very oh. bad. This is Ooh. very bad positioning from Washington though. When they go on point. Yeah, they just sat with a height disadvantage staring up at everybody else. Corey can't get very much damage out. Great E from McGravy as well. McGravy's had a crazy... Um, Statistic ratio of like grabs eaten. Yeah, he's Giannis a, he's a good diva. for a pin. Yeah, he's yeah. I think fantastic. he's an intelligent guy as well. Like, I think he's a, a good player to have on your team if you're a, a team at the bottom because he'll really like he'll say what he thinks and he thinks a lot about how he plays as well. Yeah, he's I also think... upbeat and positive. Which is yeah, strange. yeah, yeah. I haven't seen Gravy like get Demic either and being able to pull so many eats from Saragavs is pretty like a. Uh, I would just say it's good. Yeah. It's also cool, like, if you look at him over time, he's had very notable improvement through contenders, where, like, season oh, one, sure. he was, he was, like, okay, and then season two, he was, like, good, and then season three, he played really good, so. Yeah. It's like, he played EPS season zero. Yes, he yeah, played Tracer. Uh, he was in my chat a while back, and he was saying, you know, he was, like, being, you know, humble about it. He was like, yeah, yeah, I know, my Tracer was only, like, average. Wait, wait, wait. I was what? like, no, your Tracer was not average. Your Tracer was below average, dude. You know, but, you're, <laughs> but your Diva's good. Yeah, Guido got rando picked as he came into the point. I think uh, just a right click from BQB, who was holding on the high ground. Yeah, I mean, that's rough, but you lost first fight. Yeah. And you lost it in a way where you still committed Trance and Shatter. It's pretty unlikely you retake. It is a very rough point to retake now that teams are holding so far forwards and holding up on the high ground with their Zarya as well. Like that weird ruin high ground is uh, is pretty brutal to push through. Yeah, I think you could argue you actually can't reasonably be able to push through it, but... Every time you push it, it feels really awkward. Like, your Zen is almost always getting, like, super pressured. If he gets discorded, the Zarya kills him with, like, two right clicks. And any cooldowns they force from you are, are super hard to, like, continue pushing. If they force, like, Amp or Bubbles, it's oh, super awkward. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, no, not him. Super, what do you think of this match? Dude, oh, fucking... Dude. Okay, I, I got my Uber. When, Wait, when ball, ball. On the last fight of Volskaya, when when I see Justice has six ults and Florida has three, and Hagopun has to transit touch the point, 
Be yeah! Right. Wow. <laughs> How did they lose that? I don't know, dude. It was unbelievable. And they got mad mental booms because they messed that up. And they just choked Dorado and then, super and then hard. The best part is, Washington Justice tweeted out after Volskaya, they or like with, with the cap with like six minutes left, they tweeted out, we win these. And here they are about to get fucking reverse swept by Florida Mayhem. And they don't fucking win two maps in a row. I'm so mad watching this. <laughs> wait, 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 I think Florida's doing their best to troll by Yeah, playing they're playing Hammond goats. goats. Why are they playing Hammond Goats? Because, you know, they weren't running know. hard enough in the Goats matchup, they had to swap it up. <laughs> yeah. What does Hammond Goats actually do? I don't have a good feel for Dude, what the, why teams why run this. Why is my Hoping Discord still people ringing, like you're still calling me? What the f I have no idea. I mean, you could oh, leave the call and re-enter yeah, the call. Do I have to add him back to the call? No, he should be able to join the group. Okay, we're good now. All right, sweet. So why do teams run the Hammond Goats? I just don't see situations no. where it's good or better than... Yeah, they yeah, don't. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is it? Just what? like, yeah. don't run dude, even, even Chengdu, they, they ran ham and goats on the... I forget what map it was, but they ran ham... It was, it was on Busan downtown. They ran ham and goats, they lost, and then and then they were like, okay, well, let's just go regular goats. Like, what was the fucking point? I don't yeah. understand. And that's with Eamon, who's a lot better at Wrecking Ball than Swan. And like that's, like, goals, their style. Like, if you want to play some sort of goats, the only, like, uh, heroes you can switch is, like... Ryan for Winston and Diva for something. Yeah. Oh, the. Or just, you yeah. Know, just like goats just, normally. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you just won yeah. with Ryan goats. Like, you're <laughs> popping off playing Ryan goats and you're like, you know what? Not dominating hard enough. Yeah. This this is a massive throw. Because Justice, so so, Justice was so on tilt as well that if you just play Ryan goats and play them close. Then Florida still have all the mental advantage, but oh, but now yeah. having absolutely oh, Giga thrown this, oh my! Okay. Justice is gonna be straight I, 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 back I, into it mentally. Okay, I, the next map is Winston Goat. So, which team this, was better on this, Nepal Sanctum? This match. Which team was better on Nepal Sanctum? They both utterly Giga <laughs> threw. Like it was unreal. Like they they both just watched each other the entire time. Mayhem won, but the, neither team did anything the whole time. If we have to watch it, yeah, we're gonna be able to. Yeah, we're gonna witness the Winston Goats from both of these teams again. <laughs> okay, all they have to do is the both of the teams to say, "Wait for the monkey to jump and then go in." Yeah. Oh, dude, I don't even. Just get off ball. What the f Oh, my mental's crumbling. I'm not even playing. I'm watching. <laughs> the only way you could play ball here is that if you play DPS on that map. Fucking hell, dude. Why did they run it the entire time as well? Like, when it didn't work in the first fight, or even when it doesn't work the first two fights, like, come on, swap off. They had Hammond, though. Come on. Yeah. Come on, dude. I don't even know who I want to win this. I, dude, I'm really, I'm honestly hoping that there's like an earthquake and the arena just collapses, so no <laughs> one gets to win this match. I, I'm, I don't. No, no, neither of these teams deserve to win. Dude. Honestly, just fucking call it a draw here. I feel terrible that the beautiful narrative of Justice choking is going to be destroyed by Florida throwing. You know, like there was such a perfect narrative set up where they failed that play on Volskaya and got reverse swept because they crumbled, and now Florida are trying their hardest to throw it away. Let I me have my narratives, damn it. Because I didn't see what happened. Because literally, that's the last thing I saw was Hagopoon transient touched the point, and fucking Justice had six ultimate. Okay, well, Justice yeah. is, or yeah, Justice won. All right, I might as well fucking close this. And then I fucking, I'm in the Uber on the way here. I'm like, wait a minute, they won. And then I'm watching Dorado, and I see the fucking, they, they, they all double cap the map. I'm like, oh, gentle Jesus, here it is. <laughs> Super, they they used two ults to try to kill the invulnerable Zen. And a bunch of cooldowns. I heard Cora yeeted a grab into a Matrix as well. I don't know if that was true. Yeah. He's done that a few times. Uh, a lot, actually. Last one, it's unlucky. Yeah, this is going to be a loss for Florida in this first one. The Winston Goat Mirrors are really interesting because going first is, like, debatably better in a lot of situations. It, uh, I think it's just about getting... Being able to just get your Sarya bubbles as early as possible. I don't know. I think it's pretty easy to like deny Zarya the energy in this matchup, though. I mean, yeah, but you're always gonna get the full energy from uh, friendly bubble in this matchup because you can't just not shoot the uh, when he jumps on your back. I think you can shoot the Winston for at least a little bit. 
I mean, maybe a little. I, I I agree with you. It is. It's not like super hard to get charged. I hear it. Who, whose grabs getting eaten? Corey's or BQB's? It's gonna be one of them. It's like, oh, so far, man, so far Corey's have been uh, you know, a lot more than BQB's. Okay, there's no yeah. matrix. No matrix. Yeah. They're grav. No, no, no grav. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there you go. Dude, dude, Corey's, dude, Corey's dude. got his off. He I waits until you, the guys, matrix comes them. back online. I told you it's gonna be one of them. <laughs> I mean, it's one of them every fight. It's so, so unfortunate that Florida friend. have thrown this. I, I love that little narrative of Justice throwing away their only opportunity to get a win in like their first 15 games by I, okay. throwing no, on no, Voskaya. No. Swan, Swan kills two here with his ult. Here it comes. Oh. Death incoming. Uh. What did Addo do? Why is my chat spamming Addo? Oh, because he's going to get a win for the first time in Owl? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't jinx it. Come on. <laughs> no, he's definitely going to get his win here, dude. They can't throw this one. I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, okay, they, get the lost. they lost. No, they definitely G lost. G I don't want to play in the pit. Swan? No, it's over. It's Unless over, it's over, it's over. Yeah, yeah. it's over. GG. Oh, dude, I can't believe my fucking eyeball. Imagine, imagine rolling out Hammond. In any situation when you're not aiming. Jesus Christ. Or is hyping up Adam. Oh, Adam's crying? Right? <laughs> or is he just fucking... No, he's just... He's just fucking relief. That's pure relief on his face. Because he knows they didn't deserve to win that. Or like, <laughs> Florida didn't deserve to win either though. 